JK mirrors suck. Unless you know how to play it, and you know how to mod it. Then it's not too bad. Let's go. This is our second take on this, guys, because we shot it and I had both me and Ram muted. <laughs> so we're going to try to do it right this time. I'm looking at it. So let's get into this JKR time. One of the one of the better characters in the game. Uh, and if you guys were around for what I was referencing for the mirror matches. Oh, my God. Those stunk. They stunk. Let's go ahead and get mm -hmm. started uh, right. on the on the basic ferocious charge. Deal physical or special damage, keeping on its special damage to target enemy. This attack deals 25% more damage to dark side enemies, which I always forget about that, but I use it on dark side anyway. If the target is marked, Revan gains 20% turn meter. Gotta love passing turn meter to himself. It's good stuff. What do you think, Graham? Uh, 100%. The, the passing turn meter to himself is amazing. Um, the increased damage against dark side is always, always nice. Um, yeah, it's. You think it'd do a little better is, against dark awesome. Revan, but. It doesn't. Uh, master strategist. Well, it, it does fine against Darth Revan. It just doesn't do good against Malak. That's a good point. Deal special damage to all enemies. Revan dispels all debuffs on Jedi and Old Republic. Then Revan heals all Jedi and OR allies by 10% for each Jedi in each OR. Revan gains critical damage up and foresight for three turns. Swap turn meter with target other Je Jedi ally. Again, we talked about this before. Passing that turn meter is... It can become in clutch. I use it for Jolie a lot. Get that double res or another res up. I love yep. this ability. Uh, give it to Jolie. Give it to Grandmaster Yoda. Uh, you can put it put Mace in this team now as well with the with the terminator gains that he has. Uh, I mean, what's not to love? The heal, the cleanse, and the terminator swap. This is an amazing ability. We had to reference Mace. There, we weren't getting around it, guys. We weren't getting around it. All right. So going into the uh, direct focus is the first Zeta, right, Ram? It's, it's A Zeta, yes. Yep, it's first Zeta, or it's A Zeta. And this is a this is a mouthful. Inflict buff immunity and marked on target enemy for two turns. These effects can't be copied, dispelled, or resisted. Increase target enemy's cooldowns, which is a great move, which can't be resisted, and reduce their turn meter by 50% and stun them for one turn if they're stunnable. This attack can't be evaded. Call Jedi call all Jedi allies to assist, dealing 50% less damage. Marked means all enemies will target this unit. And mm -hmm. keep in mind, JKR can go around anybody around taunt. So he doesn't, all the rest of the team has to hit, but if you got to go hit somebody else, JKR on his turn can go around it. It's a good ability. I love this ability. The stun specific, but don't do what I did the first time I took on DR and try to stun DR. You know, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Zeta number two. We're going to skip the leadership. We're going to go into, uh, I'm sorry. Nope. That is Zeta number two. Uh, is the leadership for each. Well, yeah, I know I'm, I'm all over it for each Jedi and each OR ally to start a battle excluding summoned allies Jedi and OR allies gain five speed 5% crit chance 5% offense at the start of battle Jedi allies gain tenacity up for one turn while Revan is in the leader slot not the ally slot units are immune to bonus turn meter effects from leader abilities until the start of his first turn of battle whenever a Jedi ally attacks on a turn they recover 20% of their max protection I referenced this in the mace uh, video and deal 35% more damage when a Jedi ally uses a basic ability on an enemy with bonus protection. Reduce the target enemy's max health by 10%, stacking but does not work against raid bosses at the start of each Jedi ally's turn. They gain strategic advantage. If no ally has it, the Jedi ally with it can't be countered. The ally got through that quickly. Dispel all debuffs on target other Jedi ally. They gain strategic advantage and assist using their basic ability. This character uses their basic ability and loses strategic advantage. Whew, long winded boy. That's half the video right there, Ram. But it's, it's a huge ability. It is a huge ability, but it's a great leadership. Great leadership. It, any of the Jedi, even the OR, I don't I don't see too many people using it with the OR, but mm -hmm. we're gonna get into the OR in a second here, which Ram actually taught me something earlier. Uh let's see where are we at. So yeah, so the the uh the a lot of things that people forget about the leadership is that it it includes Jedi and OR jedi as separate right and so what you can do is if let's say joe lee basila and uh juhani and uh jedi Knight revan are in the team that's giving uh 10 speed for each of them so you're actually getting uh 40 speed total from those guys plus uh essentially 45 is probably the max that you can get um from jkr's leadership because you can 
uh, you have the, the, the five speed for each tag that they have. We talked about it. it's just like the Vader kit for every Empire and Sith. Everybody gets additional speed. That's the same thing mm -hmm. here, which I didn't realize that OR and, and Jedi both. So if you get a Jedi and uh, OR tag, they're getting double the amount because they got both mm -hmm. tags. So you essentially can add quite a bit with those people that Ram listed off. So that was something I didn't realize. So today I learned something as well. Uh, Savior. While another Jedi ally is active, Revan ignores taunt, as we referenced a minute ago. The first time another Jedi ally would be reduced to 1% health. So keep in mind, they don't die. They reduce to 1% health. So this is not like, again, Slacker, where you can't revive or gas. That is not like trying to get Jolie to revive. This is actually just bringing them right back up from 1%. So it still yep. will work. Uh, they recover 100% of their max health and protection, gain critical hit immunity for two turns, take a bonus turn, dispel all debuffs on themselves, and can't be defeated. Uh, for the rest of the turn while Revan is in the leader slot and not the ally slot Revan can also be saved by savior so it's like a free revive guys that's typically it's really what it is now something to something to keep in mind is reduced to one percent health and then recover 100 percent of their max health and protection that is preventable by healing immunity so if you have healing immunity let's say JT, jtr puts healing immunity down on joe lee drops him down to one percent health he'll he'll pop a savior but he will not it's still stay cover all that health. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So Good point. there's a counter to it. Good point. Uh, that is not actually the Zeta. The Zeta is actually gain critical hit immunity for two turns and, and a bonus turn and dispel debuffs off. That's not the Zeta. It's not the Zeta that's at all. That's not the Zeta at all. Sorry, Savior. All right, that's the Omega. <laughs> ah, I'm on a roll. Jedi Knight Revan for hero is immune to stun and ability block. Revan has plus 10% tenacity. This is where I was so many buffs right here. Revan has plus 10% tenacity, health steal, max health, max protection, crit hit avoidance, defense, and critical damage. Other light side allies gain half these bonuses uh, while Revan is active. These bonuses are doubled while Revan is in the leader slot and not the ally slot. So he, mm -hmm. he doesn't have to be in the leadership, but you're getting double. And we're going to talk about Zeta priority in a minute. And this one is huge because I am huge on Zetas that add. Uh, I always put them on almost, almost always first when it buffs the whole team. And this is one of them uh, outright. So Zeta priority while we're here, we've got direct focus, we've got general, and we've got hero. What's priority, Ram? 100% uh, the leader. He's he's an amazing leader at the beginning of the game to mid game. Um, even at end game, he's used in, in the leadership uh, for GAC and whatnot. So 100% yep. um, his leader is, is the absolute priority. Next up would be the hero because again, anything that's gonna buff your entire team and make your team tougher to, to kill and also do more damage. There's an amazing Zeta in my book. Um, also, the also the immune to stun and ability block is uh, huge. Um, there's a lot of characters that stun, and a lot of characters put out ability blocks on their basics. And so the fact that he's immune to that is amazing. Direct focus is obviously all three of these Zetas are crucial. This is probably the weakest Zeta, and I say that only because the other two are just so god tier good. amazing. Mm -hmm. Right, the, it, direct focus is absolutely needed. So slap all three zetas on when possible. Um, the cooldown increase, the stun if they're stunnable, um, and the buff immunity is huge on a lot of characters that you can that you can put the mark on. Even after being out two two and a half years, however long he's been out, all three zetas are super viable. The like you said, the four first years. one and is it four years that long? Good lord, twenty eighteen. Uh, leadership, uh, unique. Those are both team buffs. So those are number one and two. 100%. And I agree with Ram with the leadership. Direct focus on my baby account. I didn't put it on for a few weeks after I had him. Uh, only because I didn't have the Zetas or I would have put it on there. So I had to stack another one up. So totally agree with that point. Uh, mastery. In Star Wars Galaxy Heroes, we've got Mastery. Once you hit Relic level, it kicks in. His is Accuracy, which is basically the way to uh, avoid dodge. And then Critical Chance, which he's got a, a pretty low base on Critical Chance. And then mm -hmm. uh, Damage. So Damage stacks up as well. So for that reason, offense can be really good on this guy. And the first time we shot this video, I talked about it. But uh, I'll show you guys the actual modding that's being used right now in-game. According to the top-end guilds, they are currently using speed with health mods. The 56% 50, of the community is doing speed with health. The critical damage on the triangle. Uh, health or offense kind of split for the cross. Health and protection kind of split as well. And then speed, obviously, on the arrow is a clutch one for me. 
I I wanted I want offense mods on my guy, but I just can't afford them yet. I'm not at that point where I can get them. So I'm currently using speed because my guy is running about 309, and I actually want him at a bare minimum of about 305 personally, and especially with the competition I'm facing right now. So with my mods, I ended up putting speed with crit chance because, and Ram's going to talk about this in a second, but this gave me, I couldn't pass up a 27 speed mod off of crit chance and crit chance is viable with him or health. You can swap health or crit chance. But one of the things Ram's going to talk about right here, why I've got a protection mod on my cross. Absolutely. So, so JKR, there, there are certain characters in this game that are absolutely 100% required to be at a fast level to be at their best best capability um people like moff getting people like commander sogatano jkr is right up there on that list you absolutely want him as fast as possible if you can hit the wickets and get the other stats the the health the offense the the crit damage um offense sets if you can do those even better you're you're better off for it but if you can't and the only way for you to hit a certain speed um wicket that you need is to put on a protection primary with a huge amount of speed secondary absolutely do it 100 percent because it, the speed is king for this character for this team to really put out the damage and, and do what they do best what i prefer a health mod on this guy uh in particular but one thing that was on this mod that really beside the 24 speed is i got nine percent potency and his potency is rather low initially so for me i ended up getting stats Three out of the four stats that I wanted off of here, and one of them being a nice boost to my potency to be able to land some of his abilities. So mm -hmm. this one actually probably will never leave my JKR, even though it's not a health mod. It's just too good to pass up. Uh, let's see, what else are we looking at here? So relic priority, Ram. Um, because of how vital he is to counters across uh, across the GLs, um, across the non-GLs, um, you can see him taking out uh, several higher end teams. He takes out, um, uh, you can take out Pad Maze with ease, um, things like that. His relic priority becomes very crucial, especially with the fact that he's sharing stats uh, with his Zetas. So uh, I, I give him about an eight on his relic priority. Definitely want to get this guy up to relics as fast as possible. Um, he's not top tier priority like uh, maybe Darth Vader, yep. but he's he's up there. Yeah, early game, he doesn't necessarily have to be past G12, to be honest, guys. Um, uh, uh, like Ram references Darth Vader, he's an early one that you need because he can counter so much stuff. And he needs to go a relic level. Plus, he has a ship. Jake Carrot does not. Uh, minimum speed, I talked about mine. I, I'm putting down 290 as the minimum speed, but I also said I want mine a minimum of 305. Ram, your recommendation, you like him 320, 330? Three, 320, 330. I, again, I played a, at a very late game, end game uh, uh round area so uh 320 330 because if you if you factor in all the bonuses that you can get from other speeds uh you're, you're looking at easily a three 350 to 370 uh range jkr which is just atrociously fast um so it, it really just depends on where you're trying to where where you currently are in the game and what team you're trying to put him with or yep. if you're running him as a as his own team Overall, a great character in this game, guys. Highly recommended. I would go after DR first nowadays and then JKR, but um, both of them are great. Um, they're, 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 what'd, you, what'd you say? Four years they've been running now, and they're still incredible. 2018, teams. And, and we still got the we still got the the old Republic kicking out, kicking yeah. around. So crazy good guys. But in the meantime, uh, Ram's information to be down below. We're gonna be doing Bastila Shaw next. She has actually good synergy with Jedi Knight Revan. So she's a good one to do as well. In the meantime, you guys can find both of us over there. And don't forget to hit that follow button. We have cracked a thousand. You guys are amazing for that. I appreciate you wholeheartedly. In the meantime, we are one, one battalion strong. Battalion strong. See you guys. Shut up and sit down. I wasn't muted that time, Ram. Good. Yeah. We're gonna hear it in the video too. Just to make up for it. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs>